Hi, this is Göksen Enşan, Marine Educator on board for Ocean Networks Canada Ship to Shore program. We will be connected with St. Margaret's School in Victoria, British Columbia. Uh, kindergarten students are waiting for us for the distant lesson. And for this age group, actually they learn through their senses, so I'm planning to focus on their uh, senses uh, when I'll be explaining, for instance, how the deep ocean uh, looks like, uh, it's dark, or how does it feel, the weight of the water, they can feel it all around their body, and uh, that kind of things. And so I think it will be a very fun and cheerful session. So I look forward to it and stay tuned. Hey. Yay, there you are, hi. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to start by telling you all who we are. My name is Maya. My name is Kai. My name is Ian. I'm, I'm Kira's father. I don't know if Simone's there or not. So we are here today to tell you a little bit about what we're doing. And it's very exciting because we are in the Pacific Ocean on a ship. And the next picture is something very exciting. This is Ropos. So I'm going to get Ian to tell us a little bit about Ropos. Okay, it goes in the water, that's right. It's, uh, it's big, it's yellow, and it swims around. Okay, so the big arm thing is the crane. The crane puts the vehicle in the water. So the big blocky thing at the end of the crane, hanging over the water, that's the vehicle. So that goes way deep underwater. On the ship. This is the Wally robot. And we just got Wally from the bottom of the ocean. So you sit at your computer and you can drive Wally around at the bottom of the ocean. And he's got a camera on the front. Yeah, so that, that thing in the bubble there, that's Wally's camera. And he can use that to see what's happening at the bottom of the ocean. And then using that green wire on top, that plugs in and it comes all the way from the bottom of the ocean to the shore. And then you can look at it at home on your computer. So this is really cool because we can find out things that are happening at the bottom of the ocean many, many kilometers away from us and we can see them right in our house because of Wally. So let's go over to Skye and she's got some things to tell you about what it's like at the bottom of the ocean. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Do you see me? If you see me, hey. <laughs> so I'm Skye and I'm, I want to talk about deep sea. So uh, we can see the objects and the people, our friends and family and trees and flowers in the light. If we don't have light, we cannot see. So in the ocean, the, the upper layer has sunlight. So we can see the ocean and the, the sunlight, the sun rays can go deeper in the ocean but to a level. In the deepest part of the ocean, there, there is no light, there is no sun in the deep, deep in the ocean. So it's very, very, very dark in there. It's kind of like being like this when yeah, you're in the bottom kind of, of the ocean. <laughs> so they, they cannot <laughs> see because it's too dark there. So they have another, a different way to see. They can, fit, they can sense the vibrations of the objects around them in the deep ocean. So it's very dark in there. It's very dark deep in the ocean. Here, look. Look at me. I can jump. Hey, I'm free here. And I can move freely. And I have a balloon here. But when you go down deep in the ocean, Imagine all the water comes onto you and it is, it is, it's so heavy. So what happens if you dive under the water? If you swim under the water, you can feel all the weight of the water on you, all around you. And so think yourself, do you see the balloon? Do you see it? Yeah, okay, so this balloon is this big here, but if I send this balloon in deep in the ocean, 
because of the weight of the water it will shrink it will it will compress and it won't be that big anymore only seven we have a question of how many people it takes to drive well oh. it takes one person to just drive it but if you want to do other stuff like use the arms it's hard to drive and do the arms at the same time so sometimes we have up to three and if you want to know where you are because the ocean is a big place then you need somebody else to tell you where you are too so it can take up to four and then of course you have to sleep sometimes so you need another four people because the robot it doesn't so and and right now where we are in the ship if we look straight down at the floor okay and we keep going and probably from your school to your house all that way straight down is where the vehicle is right now it's two and a half kilometers away well it's a long ways down there's a lot of fish between here and there <laughs> you're welcome bye 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 <laughs>